Hi, is your VPN blocked by your ISP? So you can't get it to stream content, you can't get it to bypass geoblocks, you can't get it to work on P2P networks, and you can't even access the VPN sites. That does actually happen. Uh, it's becoming increasingly common. Um, ISPs don't like you using VPNs because it gives them very little control over what you access. It gives you them little control over throttling um, access to different sites. And basically, they don't like it. So there is a feature in some of the better VPNs um, which allow you to um, bypass these blocks. Now, basically, a VPN is really secure. It's very... Um, the, the encrypted tunnel it creates is... Um, completely safe you nobody can read or see any of the data within it but it does have some drawbacks um the fact is your um, traffic is hidden but it also is very easy to detect a vpn because all the data is encrypted which doesn't normally happen um obviously some there is some encryption um the little websites you visit with ssl have uh, got encryption between the between your connections, but um, overall, your, your main connection is not encrypted. Um, so, th it's quite easy to put in a firewall rule to block any encrypted traffic like that. Okay, so, what can we do? Well, one of the features that um, actually stops these blocks is something called an obfuscated VPN. So, a VPN is an encrypted tunnel, as we... Um, explain obfuscated means hidden it sort of hides the fact that it's a vpn okay so i'm going to show you how this works this is how it works in nordvpn not many of the vpn services have these but two or three of the best ones do and it's worth checking out if you're having problem or you want to keep super secure um right okay so here's vp here's a nordvpn i'm just this is the um normal interface and you can normally just click on a country this is the basic subscription the cheapy one uh, um, and if you move down here you've got something called the speciality servers that are included dedicated ip which is actually not included you need to pay extra in nordvpn for that that's an ip address that only you have and nobody else can use so you don't share anything um, you have to pay i think four or five dollars a month it's quite expensive but um it's worth it for a lot of people. Double VPN, Onion over VPN, and P2P. Uh, I'm not going to go through those in this video. I'll hopefully do some other videos explaining them. Okay, so where's this obfuscated VPN? This VPN that's hidden. Right, well, with uh, NordVPN, you need to change a couple of settings before it'll work. First of all, you need to change the VPN protocol. Now, NordVPN defaults to something called NordLinks, which is perfect, really, for um, most... Um, situations but it doesn't support obfuscated uh, connections so what we need to do is change to open vpn tcp tcp ip of course transmission control protocol so we click on that and we need to change one other setting advanced we need to turn on obfuscated servers now you won't be able to turn this on until you've changed the protocol we just turn it on there and we just minimize it let's restart the gui again and go back to the the main display and here's nordvpn and now we're going to move over to speciality servers and you can see you've got a different one obfuscated servers so basically if you click that it will find the fastest obfuscated server remember obfuscated is a vpn service is an exactly the same as a normal vpn service but it hides the fact it's an encrypted vpn so um it's not easy to detect most isps won't be able to detect these servers as a vpn okay so you see you're connected to the netherlands there and that's an obfuscated server so you sh that should work if your isp blocks normal vpn servers now i just want to disconnect that for a minute because that is not actually that helpful if you use your vpns like i do um to bypass region blocks so i use mine to watch um, the us netflix and i use it to watch um, uk tv and of course a netherlands server is no good to me there but it's fine for dutch tv 
So if you do that, you need to just go over to the obfuscated servers and click on these three little dots here. And you can change the country. So for instance, I want the um, the BBC iPlayer. So I click on United Kingdom and then I can pick the fastest UK obfuscated server. Okay, let me just connect that. You can actually select a specific obfuscated server if you get problems with the IP address being blocked by BBC iPlayer, which does happen, unfortunately. So you can see here now it's connecting to United Kingdom, and this is a, a hidden VPN server, if you like. Okay. Now there is a little bit of um bit of latency with an obfuscated server. It's not quite as fast. No VPN servers are really quick. Um, there is a little bit of uh, delay with the um, obfuscated servers because the, there is a certain amount of uh, processing to actually hide your connection. So that causes a little bit of uh, delay, but it's not too bad. And let me just go and show you now. Okay, so I've got a UK obfuscated server. Let me go to BBC iPlayer and just show you that it actually works for um, region blocking as well. Uh, great, there's my doc. Who? I'm a big Doctor Who fan. I'm going to start watching. And remember, this is using an obfuscated NordVPN server. And you can see it's not too bad. Um, sometimes it might be a little bit slow. You might get a little bit of buffering. Overall, I've not found a problem. If you don't care, if you're not having problems, don't. When you're streaming Once video, don't time. use an obfuscated server. Right. Just use one of the normal easy. ones. Uh, and I'll just pause that as I'll get a copyright strike in YouTube if I let that stream. And that's all there is to it. It's using NordVPN's obfuscated servers. I hope that's helped somebody and I hope I haven't been too waffly in this video. But um, I'll leave it there now. Um, thank you very much for watching.